day. Now, a fossil of the last dinosaurs living in, a, in Africa before their extinction 66 million years ago has been discovered in Morocco. Faith Lapidus has details. This fossilized jawbone belonged to this dinosaur. Shenanosaurus barbaricus was found at a phosphate mine in Morocco. Paleontologist Nick Longrich at the University of Bath identified the new species. He says it indicates Africa had its own dinosaurs until an asteroid hit 66 million years ago, wiping out the dinosaurs and marking the end of the Cretaceous period. We have a pretty good picture of the dinosaurs from North America for this time period. For example, Triceratops and T-Rex are part of the, this fauna, uh, this sort of twilight fauna, the last dinosaurs on Earth. But we don't have a good picture of what's going on in the rest of the world and we know almost nothing about the African dinosaurs from this time period. This African predator was smaller than T. rex and different in other ways, too. They have a much shorter, blunter snout. The arms are actually shorter than those of a T. rex. And whereas T. rex is very bird-like and would have been feathered, these things were scaly. And T. rex wasn't particularly intelligent, but this thing was like had a smaller brain than even a T. rex did. So it's a, in many ways a much more primitive dinosaur. But Shenanosaurus was still a powerful predator. The tooth structure, <clears throat> these large serrations, the tooth is compressed side to side, and that's typical of the dinosaurs. That's how you know it's a dinosaur. For Longrich, the fossils found at the Moroccan mines help confirm the theory of a mass extinction of a thriving ecosystem. But it's interesting to see evidence confirming that dinosaurs remain successful, and the fauna stayed pretty stable up until the end of the Cretaceous period in Africa. So I think there's no evidence, as far as I'm concerned, of a decline in dinosaur diversity approaching the extinction. And if it hadn't been for this asteroid, we'd probably still have dinosaurs here today. But then the age of mammals might never have dawned. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.